Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I ran inside this uh store this morning to grab me some um Advil cold and sinus. Yeah, I got the worst allergies that there is. I said, Lord Jesus. And they say Vegas is a good place to live if you have allergies. No, it ain't. Yeah. No, it ain't. I want to know how much time you spend on a pair of living you get me. All that gray in our conversation history, you. I got Playing you. Playing mind games. When you saying things. I think I'm allergic to work. Games. We both doing the same thing. Slide on a late night. I really do. I think I am allergic to W-O-R-K. When I don't have to go to work, I feel good. How y'all living out there, guys? How y'all doing this morning? I don't think I blocked my... I hope everybody is having a blessed morning. A blessed day. I see people still coming in, saying crazy shit to me on this video about Kanye. And I said, maybe I should have went in and blocked my comments. And it ain't the fact that I'm scared. <laughs> One thing about me, I ain't never scared, okay? My heart pump blood, not Kool-Aid over here. So anybody that feel like they want to come for me, come on. Bring, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, Tinky in that funky mood. Y'all know she get in them funky mood. She be ready to fight. Lord Jesus. I pray that you watch over me this morning. Cover me in your blood. No cussing nobody out this morning on my commute. And uh, I want everybody. It's, it's Thanksgiving, guys. You guys, happy Thanksgiving. This will probably be a video I get out to you guys before Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day. I will be working. When I get off of work, I'm going to go over there with my family. My damn baby, her birthday today. Happy birthday, Aaliyah. She's six years old. Going on 35, okay? That little one right there. Right, girl. That one. She would tell you what's on her mind. She don't give a ham sandwich. Uh, she, <laughs> My daughter said it was in the house, though. And uh, I guess the lady was trying on a wig. She was getting some stuff for the girl's hair. Aaliyah told her, she said, that don't look right on you. <laughs> the lady turned and looked, and she said, who you talking to? She said, Mama, I kept telling the lady, that had, that wig don't look right on her. My daughter said, she grabbed her and said, Aaliyah, don't, don't do that. And she said, well, Mama, it's not cute. <laughs> she said, the more she tried to get her to stop, the more she kept going on. And uh, that reminds me of Dr. Heavenly when she went and had her talk with her daughter. And uh, the daughter was telling her, What's the tea? You rude. You say things that you shouldn't say at times. And uh, it is what it is. But uh, you guys, this is what I want to say. Do y'all think a lot of people are saying that um, y'all know Pimp, Chris Jenner, Mama Pimp, is trying to rectify the situation with Kanye. Kanye done did too much. He canceled that tour because uh, Kim never wanted him to do the tour. But uh, after she got robbed, she wanted him to stop everything and be by her side. Well, he still had 21, uh, however many more states, at least 20 to 25 more states to do, or uh, wherever cities. And uh, he wanted to cancel. So, you know what? I'm starting to wonder. Y'all, excuse me, my allergies this morning. Advil cold and sinus is really good. It helped with this congestion. And I'm using my Allegra. I think it's just so much construction and stuff going on here in Las Vegas. And uh, it's so dry here in Vegas. So that's why I have that right raspy, dry voice. But anyway, back to my, back to everybody's theory. And I'm going to listen to you guys' theory, okay? I am going to entertain this one, okay? He didn't want to finish that tour. Like my girl Janet, well, she did come up pregnant. And I'm still heated with Janet because I had some tickets. I know y'all some tickets, let it go. He didn't want to finish that tour. And um, why not saying that, you know, he had a mental breakdown. And uh, she's doing damage control. I never thought about that. I'm like, pray for Kanye, which I'm still saying anybody who out there dealing with any psychiatric um, any mental issues I am praying for you all the time 
because you know the you know the devil is busy you know we want to blame it on the devil at all times but um that could be true now my allergies is on one this morning that could be true Chris Jenner y'all I gotta go y'all may hit this car go a little bit faster but I gotta push it I was in there trying to pull this uh nappy ass hair pull this ponytail up a little bit higher because uh I still haven't got my unit and a uh, girl yeah my hair so thick and nappy it's just uncontrollable and uh, I blame myself because I don't take care of it up under these units that's why I conditioned it real good and I had put some perm in there but that shit didn't seem like it didn't even take because I hadn't permed my hair you know I had, was just doing my edges you can see where they weak and I hadn't put no perm throughout my hair probably in about six months, honey. That was a whole jar of perm. That shit did not take, and I left it in there a long time. But anyway, Mama Jenna is doing damage control, you guys. And I think that that's what may be going on. I never thought about that. But um, I see what Gucci man, G-Wap, Gu-Wap, whoever y'all want to call him. I see where he proposed to uh, his girlfriend, Keisha. Cora, I think that's her name. And I would, I want to say finally, you know, he done been in and out of jail and she done bought him a Bentley and she holding him down and she doing everything else. You know what? Marry these young ladies, guys. They there for you and they holding you down and they making sure you got everything you need. And they put money on your books when you're in trouble. Go ahead and make her the missus. I don't understand. And I'm going to go there. I'm black, so I'm going to use black because I've dated, you know, other gender, I'm gender, other races before. But I, I've never been engaged. But our black men, they don't like to get married. And I don't know why. My brother... He was with a young lady as long as I was in the beginning with my first, was it the first husband or the second? And uh, she left him because they had been together for 10 years and she wanted to get married. They had a child. They had bought a house together. He didn't want him to commit. And I still hear him talking like that today. And I'm like, bro, bro, what's the rest wrong? You know, you, you got to go ahead and say I do. And don't nobody want to play your wife. And uh, I had been married twice, and then the last one, oh, we just like we married. I'm gonna get married, you know, when I when I get ready. Oh, okay, well, when you get ready to find somebody who's waiting on you, <laughs> cause uh, I don't have to settle for less. The only thing in life I have to do is what that man up above put in my path for me to do, and that must not be for me, because it is what it is. But I'm not here to talk about Miss Tiki and her issues this morning. Let me see y'all what else was going on. I didn't see nothing else trending. Y'all, me and my dailies and a lot of people who do a non-stop November. Um, oh my God, her name is right on the top of my uh, tongue. Shauna, Sean Ridge, whatever you guys. Y'all, y'all get to see it ain't no joke. You try to find something <clears throat> for you to talk about each day. Sometimes it becomes redundant. It may be the same thing over and over. And uh, people used to seeing me in this car doing my little traveling because when I was talking to a young lady, she said, don't never change that part of you because that's what people have gotten accustomed to you in that car on your way to work each morning. Your commute, cussing, praying, laughing, spilling that tea, that gossip. But just bump your game up a little, you know. Take it up a notch. Do your little reviews. You might not like, you know, synthetic, but get you a couple synthetics and tag these people and, you know, make it do what it do. And I was like, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate anybody who don't mind help because you know what, if I got a hand to hand out to you, if I can encourage somebody, I don't mind. And you know what, I know some, a couple people have been reaching out to me and uh, it's not that I'm, I don't want to talk to anyone, but I'm running back and forth to this job. Yes, I clock in. And I don't mind saying I clock in and out. I've been doing it for 30 years. Thank you, Jesus. And um, 
a lot of times if you guys see on here you can look at my eyes i don't be feeling good i'm do i'm dealing with you know an illness with my spine and uh, my job is physical so i'm on my feet all day bending lifting and uh half of the time when i jump in this little scooter mobile and i head to the ponderosa road dog be like you all right over there i'm like yeah and uh you know she don't hear from me she get to looking for me but uh i be tired so don't take it personal if anybody tried to reach out to me and i didn't respond you guys can always dm me hit me up on twitter hit me up on instagram send me a message chit chat with me i don't mind talking to you but uh uh one young lady said she wanted to start her channel all I can tell you is like everybody told me, click that camera on and uh, just start recording. Start from your phone. You know, I still use my phone each morning. I click it in this thing. I have a camera at the house, but this little, I don't have any space or I don't have a dashboard. So I really don't have nowhere to sit my uh, nice camera and don't drive holding it. You know, I did that in the beginning. That's very dangerous. Thank God I never got in trouble. So y'all be careful driving and holding the cameras. I see a lot of people do that. And uh, get you a little mount, click it in, and keep it popping, you guys. And I'm not gonna hold y'all. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Turkey Day. And I hope everybody, just be thankful. We got families, you know, we got jobs. You got your health, you got your strength. You got your family, number one. Happy Thanksgiving, family, family, family. And to people who don't have any family and you guys live through us, happy Thanksgiving to you. And I hope you have a blessed day. And you guys, um, thank you for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to find some music to take us out. But, um. All right, guys. I went in Target to get a couple of things. My baby birthday is today, and I want to pick up a couple of items. She's a Thanksgiving baby. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Oh, they got some cute little gift stuff. Some beauty blender brushes and stuff. Nice colors. They got some nice gifts in here. NYX. I like NYX. NYX got some cute gifts ten dollars wow that ain't mixed that's la color but uh you guys i ran in here right quick to get some things and um of course i don't know which way to go <clears throat> Allergy queen. She's getting her allergy stuff. I hope everybody is getting a Thanksgiving dinner going. And um, you know what? I wonder what happened to my little wet wow lipstick I used to get. I can't find my color. Actually, it's the wet wow, but they don't have my color. I used to get this is cherry. Remember the wet wow, you guys? I used to tell y'all I got for 90 some cent. I can never find my color anymore. I used to get the berry. It's say cherry pickings. I want the berry cherry, those are the same. But uh, I'm gonna run through here. Well, of course, it's her birthday, and I'm trying to figure out what to get. So when I buy one, I have to buy two. It's their birthday. It's one birthday, but I always buy two gifts for each one. It's their birthday. Whenever you buy one, you have to buy two. And looking at these TVs over here on sale. Not a bad price. Avoid the toys. So we don't hear any strange. Not a bad sale at all. 
these TVs are marked all the way down. 50 inch, 279. Not bad, you guys. I'm over here at Target. 279 for 50 inch.